just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, Miles is from all the way from Kipper of on Miami here, and we are officially back on the air. Welcome to Tales of the Tape, as two of James' friends battle it out over who has the better taste in wrestling games. With James out of the action, all thanks to his epilepsy situation, which he clearly explained in his previous channel update, which he posted a few days ago, it is up to me to carry the torch. Anyway, last time we went through Ian the Sharpshooter Harvey's picks, which fetched a combined team score of 82.5%. Now, without further ado, allow, allow me to introduce our second contender. And Ian's opponent, all the way from San Andreas, California. He is a former member of the Grove Street family. Give it up for Craig O.T. Lowe Freeland. Okay, so this time he wants to fire with fire as he picked yet another classic from the N64 library. Does this game score high enough to go one up on the shot shooter? Let's ring the bell and let's find out. During the turn of the millennium, that's the year 2000, we survived the, the data analyst version of the Armageddon, that's Y2K, and Robinson was installing fears in the contestants has as the first episode of BBC's hit show The Weakest Link was broadcast on August the 14th. In terms of gaming, Nintendo's and the world's first 64-bit console, the N64, was king of consoles, and this classic got released. The developers went from success to success, starting with from WCW vs NWO World Tour, released in 1997. The premise of this game is quite simple. You pick a wrestler from a roster of superstars, which deemed as icons nowadays. The icons like Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Rikishi, for example, and bow your way to championship success. The accessibility scores are as follows. Kick things off, this ability gave it 10. Each superstar has four additional outfits which can be changed using the C buttons on the controller during the character select screen. This evens out the battlefield for a player with a visual impairment. Next on the agenda, on ability gave it 10. There is no spoken dialogue in this game with the exception of referee callouts. Road break. One, two, three. Three can fall. These are displayed when the center of the screen. So a player with a hearing impairment should be able to play this game with no issues. Next up for the antenna, mobility gave it 7.5. The controls can be customized to be the game's options menu. This will allow a mobility impaired players to control tailor the controls to suit his or her impairments. This could be a vital lifeline as an N64 controller will be very difficult to use for a player with certain mobility impairments. So apart from the sheer size of an N64 controller, this game is easily playable for a player with mobility impairments. Last but not least, gameplay given 9.5. This game feels like an upgraded version of the original games of the series, i.e. WCW vs. NWO Revenge. In exhibition mode, there is a lot more match points when in comparison with Revenge. For example, you can participate in cage matches, special guest referee matches, or Iron Man matches. Although gameplay-wise, it is extremely similar to Revenge. However, additional unlockables, for example, additional superstars like Cactus Jack, can be unlocked via the game SmackDown Mall. Certain people in the community branded this game as a, his words not mine, carbon copy. Well, Ian, I would somewhat agree with that statement. Yes, it might be running on the same engine, therefore using the same graphics, but the N64 is running on a 93.75 MHz processor, so therefore using the same engine would probably be the best way to make use of that hardware's limited capabilities. Also, this game is from the exact same developer, so it would be more or less expected for them to use the same assets, for example, engines. 
In summary, WWF No Mercy is an excellent successor to the N64 classic wrestling games. For example, Revenge. The developer has taken what's good about Revenge while adding a few features to make the game feel fresh. I would highly recommend this game to an N64 wrestling enthusiast. And the overall score is 92.5%. See you guys in the climatic finale of the series as I to look at Fire Pro Wrestling and the champion announced. Miles Tails Power, all the way from Kid Robot in Miami, on the behalf of Spartan Commander 9090 out. Roll out Spartan Legion, 